Right. Uh, and now, I think it's, it's, it's only fair that some of the people who are um, large sponsors tonight get to say a few words. So please, uh, would you help me to welcome on stage, in order to, um, to represent ABSA, the Deputy CEO of the Barclays Africa Group, Mr. David Hodnett. Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge all dignitaries uh, present, our loyal customers, award nominees, and all other attendees. Tonight's event is an important highlight in the annual Jewish calendar as it showcases the remarkable achievements and contributions that the South African Jewish community makes to our country. It is also an opportunity to recognize the exceptional talents and achievements of people who through inventiveness, tenacity and resilience are shining examples to all South Africans about what is possible. ABSA is proud to partner with this prestigious event for the 15th consecutive year. We take great pride in our long association with the South African Jewish community and we honour the contribution that generations of Jewish activists have made to this country, as well as hundreds of South African Jewish entrepreneurs who continue to succeed and build successful businesses both here and around the world. The theme for the 2016 Jewish Chiva Awards, Igniting the Soul of Africa, aptly fits in with our commitment to the continent. Barclays Africa is a proudly African bank our commitment to Africa is unwavering, and with the opportunities we see in its future, we have tied our destiny and our prosperity to its prosperity. We are uniquely positioned in terms of scale, reach, and expertise to capitalize on these opportunities. We fully understand our responsibility as a systemically important financial institution and are committed to conducting our business in a way that promotes positive outcomes for society, consumers, and our business, a concept we refer to as shared growth. I know that following the announcement that Barclays PLC would be reducing its shareholding in Barclays Africa, some have wondered whether this makes our, certain, our future uncertain. I want to assure you we are in firm control of our destiny. However, with things of this nature, there will continue to be elevated noise and speculation. So I just want all our, all our loyal customers to take home the message that we are here to stay and will continue to play an integral role in the communities in which we operate. We are absolutely convinced that to sustain our growth in Africa, we have to conduct our business in a way that helps people achieve their ambitions in the right way. Our support for these awards reinforces our shared growth philosophy and strategy through which we aim to grow and develop the societies in which we operate. We strongly believe that business success is dependent on operating in a healthy society and environment, and companies need to consider their profitability alongside the impact they have on the communities in which they operate. When our customers and clients do well, so do we. When the communities where we live and work thrive, we do too. And when society prospers, we all do. Our shared growth strategy focuses on three priority areas, education and skills training, financial inclusion, and enterprise development. We have, together with partners, committed to invest 1.4 billion rand across the continent over the next three years into quality education and skills development, and to raise 1.3 billion rand to support the sustainable development of small and medium enterprises. I'm sure you will all agree that it's difficult for business to grow when the economy is not growing. The African economy in particular needs high levels of skills that can not only support development of critical sectors, but also produce high-caliber individuals worthy of recognition, such as those that we see tonight. Tonight, I believe that I'm in the company of a community that believes in a bright future for our country and our continent. South Africa needs people who are passionate about making a positive difference. When we see the cascading impact that Jewish achievers, past and present, have on society and business, we are all encouraged to have a similar or greater impact. On behalf of ABSA, I would like to once again extend my heartfelt congratulations to this year's outstanding nominees and winners. You have demonstrated that you are truly igniting the soul of Africa and playing a significant role in positively shaping the future of South Africa and the continent for generations to come. Through your achievements, an environment that is conducive to success is created, an environment with which in, with, within which we can all prosper we are proud to be extending our sponsorship of this event. A big thank you for everyone for coming tonight. Thank you.